What kinds of creepy mail are waiting this week? Electronic components are in this one. And I think I see anti-static bag. That's always fun. Oh, look, some kind of a module. All right. What is this? It's got foam to protect the pins. And it was packaged well with an anti-static bag. Kind of hard to see. It looks like a laser engraved shield. Wi-Fi ESP Room 32 with a printed PCB antenna and black solder mask covering it. A USB interface, a couple of push buttons, looks like a voltage regulator and a USB chip. Anything written underneath? No, not really. Just ESP32S. So we have white solder mask on the bottom, black on the top. Let's go look this thing up and see what's going on. ESP32, ESP32S, which is it? Development board, 2.4 gigahertz, dual mode, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna module, $5.87 from Satisfy Electronics. So they copy and pasted something from somewhere. ESP32 is an integrated antenna and RF Balan power amplifier module. So 2.4 gigahertz, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so I'm not entirely sure which board this is because I'm not totally familiar with this series. The laser etching on here says ESP dash, is this a silent W? Room, ESP dash room dash 32. On the bottom, it looks like it will say ESP 32 S. So I was trying to match this label where it says ESP dash room so over on the Espressif page, I do see a module that has an ESP dash room kind of format, but in their actual list of modules, I only see things like ESP32 dash room 32, etc. Likewise, the shield says ESP32. So I'm not sure exactly what this is, but well, it's an ESP. 32 something or other. So it's about time I get started working with this stuff. I ordered this a very long time ago, so no idea how long it took. And if I had found this sooner in the mail, maybe I could have already had a lot of projects going. But never too late to start. Cable connectors. Well, I've ordered a lot of these over the months, so this could be anything. And those look like DIN connectors. Yeah, these are five pin connector shells. And what do we have here? So a good use for a metal spudger with a pointed tip. In order to get this five pin connector apart, you have to push down on this metal part and pull it out of the shell. then this would be a strain relief for the cable itself. This part comes in half. And everything fits in a certain way. There's only one way to do it. So there's your five pins and you have a cup soldering end for the pins. So I think I have a MIDI to USB interface somewhere and this will be useful for that probably. Three pieces, five pin, DIN, plug, mail, cable adapter connector with plastic handle. A dollar nine from Meow Meow 5220016-5. So you open up that enclosure and attach your wiring and you have a five pin DIN connector. There's a whole history on what these are for. Originally standardized in the early 70s. And here's what DIN stands for and I am not going to try to say this. So it's a German national standard organization thing. So this five pin can be used as a MIDI cable and it's involved in power connections and peripherals for personal computers back in the old days. So this connector was for the keyboard of the original IBM PC. And this is also used for DMX controls. So theatrical lighting and other effects 
can have a connection scheme using this sort of DIN style connector. So I've got a couple of things that may be able to use this. Having a couple on hand, not a bad idea. Expansion board module. So, some more anti-static. Ooh, a cup, wow. But wait, there's more. Well, it looks Arduino friendly. It's got headers and screw terminals. What is this? So we have VCC ground, A and B, data in, receive out. Is this like an RS-485 or 422 transceiver? Max 485, RS-485 transceiver. All right, now I can do some differential communication. So it looks like I can have two sets of differential buses for transmit and receive and go to Arduino or something like that or whatever else I want to interface with off the shelf that's differential. And of course, differential has noise immunity. You can go longer distances or communicate in noisy environments. That's going to be handy. Two five or ten pieces of the MAX485 module TTL to RS485 converter module, 5 volts for Arduino. If you get two of them, it's 99 cents. If you get five, it's $2.08. If you get ten, it's $3.80. So the more you get, the better the deal. From CZB672, 1960. These only took three and a half weeks to get here. This is one of my better shipping times. So, speaking of RS-485 differential data to Arduino, talking about these DIN-style connectors being used for theatrical lighting and things, DMX-512 employs EIA-485 differential signaling. RS-485. I see opportunities for a project coming up. So, the MAX-485 chip itself, it's a 5-volt chip, so you can have it between 4.75 and 5.25 volts. And on the single-ended data side, which would go to an Arduino, so they call all these signals receiver out, that will go into an Arduino, driver in, that will be from Arduino, and then receiver enable and driver enable. So you can turn on or off the receiving or transmitting sides, make it high impedance, and there's the differential data right here and that will go out to either another module, if I'm going to use one module to the other, over a differential bus, or this would be my project and I would go off to some theatrical lighting effect or something and plug into its DMX connector and give it the differential data line. This is a LEC. So, what's a LEC all about? Ah! Looks like transistory things, TO92 package, MCR100-6, 20 pieces. That could be an SCR, TRIAC kind of thing. One way to find out. 20 pieces, MCR100-6, 0 0.8 amp, 400 volt, silicon controlled rectifier, TO92, dip transistors new, $1.32 from 185115. This took nine weeks to get here. Just adding to the collection of SCRs, triacs, and other three pin transistory switchy kind of things. So there's the pinouts with the flat face looking at you. It would be cathode gate anode from left to right. If I'm going to be working with these kinds of things, I figured that kind of 0.8 amp current should do and 400 volts should be more than enough. I need to play around with these things more and learn more about them. So buying parts like this that's my evaluation kit. Auto adapter. All right, I ordered a couple of things. Oh, and there's an empty shell to build your own OBD2 interface. So the OBD connector terminates to these soldered points, although one's not soldered, I don't know if it needs to be. And there's this header strip in the middle. So you get the screws to put the case together, a heavy Duty looking strain relief for a cable. OBD 16 pin male shell diagnostic adapter connector plug cable OBD2 auto tool. This connector shell is 99 cents from a car tool dash OBD2. And it took four weeks to get here. So it's this cable shell and when it closes it's got this strain relief for the cable that you add and it's basically the automotive OBD2 onboard diagnostic plug. OBD2 
It specifies the diagnostic connector and pinout, electrical signaling protocols, and the message format. So this will let you make a scan tool, and it's powered by the vehicle, but you can power it yourself. So here's a pinout list. So these ports on an automobile are required to be within two feet of the steering wheel, so that'll make it easier to find. And overall, this system gives the vehicle owner or the repair technician access to the status of various vehicle subsystems. In other words, do you have error codes? What do they mean? Is there a light on your dash telling you something's wrong? So I don't know exactly all the kinds of things available these days, and if I build a circuit and use this connector, I'm not sure what I have access to, but I thought this might make a fun project. Or if something goes wrong, it might send me calling a tow truck to get towed to the auto shop. Hopefully not. So not a bad haul. We got some 5-pin DIN cables that we can do several things with, some differential RS-485 interfaces, another pile of TO-92 things, and some OBD connector stuff for a future project. Hopefully I don't break the car. A little bit of fun stuff, a little bit of practical stuff, Lots of stuff to do. Spooky.